Hello, this is Bill Bovenu of BSC Solutions Group. Today I'll be demonstrating how to turn on and use OneDrive files on demand. Using File Explorer, this will allow you to see all of your files that are stored online in OneDrive, but without having to sync all of them to your local hard drive. Previously, all of your OneDrive files would have automatically synced to your local hard drive, but with files on demand, your local computer has a placeholder for each file instead. So, let's take a look at some of my settings. I haven't turned on files on demand yet for my OneDrive for Business application. I do have it turned on for my OneDrive Personal, and we can see some differences. So, so in the OneDrive for Business, it's not yet turned on, and I do have all of these folders and the files underneath them all synchronizing to my local drive. If we want to turn on files on demand, we're going to go over to the OneDrive for Business icon, click on it, Click on the three dots on the menu here, and then Settings. So from here, click on the Settings tab, and then check off the box, Files on Demand, Save Space and Download Files as you use them. I'll click OK. So this is going to go through and update the synchronization of these files. It's going to remove the synchronization uh, as far as them always being synced and going to set them as cached because we had a copy here already. While we're waiting on that we can go take a look at uh, my personal one which is already set up and we'll see some of the different symbols that we get. So so here we can see you've got the the cloud with the blue border so what that indicates is that this file is available in OneDrive on the cloud only. All right, so there is no local copy to this computer at this point. If we look at another folder, we'll see the the green circle uh, around an empty empty cloud, an empty circle with a green border. So this one will indicate that this file is available in the cloud and there is a local copy that has been downloaded to this computer that's available on demand or, or cached. If we look at the next folder, this one is a solid green circle, so this indicates that this folder is always synchronized to this computer regardless of my cache settings. All right, so let's go back and take a peek here and see if our OneDrive for Business is finished. It did. So we can see here we've, we've got a mix again. Uh, so some of these folders are all cached. We do have one folder here that is set to always be downloaded because that is how I had it set before. So again, if we right click on that, there's an option here, always keep on this device. Okay, we can choose to free up space by removing the cache. So I'm going to do that. I'll click free up space. So this folder now will resynchronize and this will turn into the the white cloud with the blue circle, which again, again at this point will indicate that these files are no longer stored on my local drive, they're only available in the cloud. If I uh, want to change that setting, I can right click on this and I'm going to choose to always keep this on my device. So this is going to pull those files back down again and now we see the solid green circle, so they are permanently replicated back and forth. We can see some other folders, so say we go into projects, so here we can see that there's five documents here that are cached, so they're local. But we could decide individually that we don't want to cache those documents or by folder, so I'm going to right click on the whole folder here and choose to free up space for this folder. So now everything under this folder is no longer on this local drive, um, I guess this one I must have had a previous setting for the caching. So, so for these four though, they're only available in the cloud. So the only way I'm going to get them onto this computer is either to open them, okay, or choose to always keep them on this drive. So let's go ahead and we're just going to open one up here. So by clicking on, on um, this Word document, we can see that it's synchronizing. That was that pop-up window. And so that Word document has now downloaded we can see here that it has a, a green circle, so that means that document is cached on this local drive. All right, still opening. So if I decided at some point I wanted to free up space again in here, I can come to that individual document and choose free up space, or I could do it at the folder level. So I'll do it again here locally here. So we will choose to free up space. It's going to resync this document. 
and now it's again available only in the cloud. So, so really there's, there's really kind of three actions you can take here. You can just simply open documents and when you do that they cache down to your local drive. They'll stay there indefinitely until you choose to free up space. You may need to choose to free up space from time to time if the um, if your hard drive is is running low on on disk space alright so again when you want to free up space you could do that by uh, right clicking on any folder or file you can also do it right at the parent level of your OneDrive and free up space and then everything again will revert to being online okay and the um, you know reasons though that you would choose to um, set things to be available always so again I'm gonna say here always keep on this device and this should switch to a solid green so there you go so that's always on here so even if I go to this um, this notebook folder there you go there's my subfolders or my sub files that are synchronized there so the reason you would choose that option is if you if you tend to be a traveler and maybe you want to work at you know the airport or on the plane where you're not going to have internet access or if you're you know occasionally at a client premises or or anywhere else possibly that that doesn't have internet access by choosing this option to always keep available these files will be on your local drive and you won't be dependent on your internet access all right, so there's a, there's a quick run through of how to turn on and take advantage of the files on demand feature in OneDrive. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It's Bill Bovenue at BSC Solutions Group.